Hi dear students, this video also contains the chemistry question discussion from previous year's NEET exams from the chapter Solutions. Please listen. Listen, question number one. The correct option for the value of vapor pressure of a solution at 45 degree centigrade with benzene to octane in molar ratio 3 is to 2 is. In bracket at 45 degree centigrade, vapor pressure of benzene is 280 millimeter of mercury and that of octane is 420 millimeter of mercury. Assume ideal behavior. Option number 1, 336 millimeter of mercury. Option number 2, 350 millimeter of mercury. Option number 3, 160 millimeter of mercury. And option number 4, 168 millimeter of mercury. Listen, here in this question, an ideal solution is prepared by dissolving benzene and octane. For the convenience, we can represent benzene as capital A and octane as capital B. The molar ratio of benzene to octane is given at is equal to 3.2. The vapor pressure of pure benzene that is P0A is equal to 280 millimeter of mercury. And the vapor pressure of pure octane that is P0B is equal to 420 millimeter of mercury. Then according to Rawls law, vapor pressure of the solution capital P is equal to chi A into P0A plus chi B into P0B. Where chi A is a mole fraction of A that is benzene, chi B is a mole fraction of B that is octane. Here chi A is equal to 3 by 5 and chi B is equal to 2 by 5. Substituting these values, the equation becomes capital P is equal to 3 by 5 into 280 plus 2 by 5 into 540 that is equal to 3 into 56 plus 2 into 84 that is equal to 168 plus 168 equal to 336 millimeter of mercury. So here the answer is option number 1. Now question number 2. In one molar solution that contains 0.5 mole of a solute, comma there is option number 1. 1000 gram of solvent, option number 2, 500 ml of solvent, option number 3, 500 gram of solvent, option number 4, 100 ml of solvent. Listen, here in this question, a one molar aqueous solution is given. We need to find out the amount of solvent which contains 0.5 mole of solute. Molality of the solution is given, that is, mol m is equal to 1. Here, number of moles of solute nb is equal to 0.5 mole. We know the equation for calculating molality that is small m is equal to number of moles of solute nb divided by weight of solvent wa in kilogram. Here molality is equal to 1 which is equal to 0.5 divided by weight of solvent wa. Therefore wa is equal to 0.5 kilogram which is equal to 500 gram. So here the answer is option number 3. Now question number 3. The Henry's law constant in bracket KH values of three gases A, B and C in water are 145, comma 2 into 10 raised to minus 5 and 35 kilobar respectively. The solubility of these gases in water follows the order. Option number 1, B greater than A greater than C. Option number 2, B greater than C greater than A. Option number 3, A greater than C greater than B. Option number 4, A greater than B greater than C. Listen, here the Henry's law constants of three different gases capital A, capital B and capital C are given. For capital A, KH is equal to 145 kilobar. For B, it is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 5 kilobar. And for C, it is equal to 35 kilobar. That is, KH values of these gases decreases as A greater than C greater than B. As the value of KH increases, solubility of gases in solvent decreases because KH values inversely proportional to solubility of gas. Therefore, solubility of these gases follows the order B greater than C greater than A. So, here the answer is option number 2. Now question number 4. 1 gram of sodium hydroxide was treated with 25 ml of 0.75 molar HCl solution. The mass of sodium hydroxide left unreacted 
is equal to option number 1 750 milligram option number 2 is 250 milligram option number 3 0 and option number 4 200 milligram you know in a chemical reaction one gram equivalent of a substance can always react with only one gram equivalent of another substance that is one gram equivalent of NaOH can react with only one gram equivalent of HCl here the weight of sodium hydroxide is given as one gram therefore its number of equivalents is equal to weight divided by equivalent mass that is equal to 1 by 40 40 is equivalent mass of sodium hydroxide the number of equivalents of HCl in the solution is equal to its normality into all in liter here molarity of HCl solution is given as 0.75 which is equal to its normality because the basicity of HCl is equal to 1 therefore number of equivalents is equal to 0.75 into 25 divided by 1000 that is equal to 0.75 divided by 40 that is 0.75 divided by 40 equivalents of HCl can neutralize 0.75 divided by 40 equivalents of NaOH therefore number of equivalents of NaOH remaining is equal to 1 by 40 that is the number of equivalents of NaOH that we have initially taken minus 0.75 divided by 40 that is the number of equivalents reacted therefore the remaining number of equivalents is equal to 0.25 divided by 40 Therefore, weight of NaOH remaining is equal to 0.25 divided by 40 into 40. That is number of equivalents in the equivalent mass. That is equal to 0.25 gram, which is equal to 250 milligram. So here the answer is option number 2. Now question number 5. The plot of osmotic pressure in bracket pi versus concentration in moles per liter for a solution gives a straight line with the slope 25.73 liter bar mole raised to minus 1. The temperature at which the osmotic pressure measurement is done is in bracket R is equal to 0 0.083 liter bar mole raised to minus 1. Option number 1 37 degree centigrade. Option number 2 310 degree centigrade. Option number 3 25.73 degree centigrade and option number 4 12.05 degree centigrade we know the equation for calculating the osmotic pressure of a solution that is pi is equal to c into r into t here c is a concentration of the solution or molarity r is a gas constant or solution constant and t is a temperature in kelvin if we add a zero at the end the equation becomes pi is equal to CRT plus 0. This is equation number 1. This equation number 1 is of the form y is equal to mx plus c. That is equation for a straight line. Therefore, pi versus concentration c graph is a straight line at constant temperature t. Its slope is equal to r into t. Slope of this line is given as 25.73 which is equal to 0 0.083 into t. Therefore, temperature t is equal to 25.73 divided by 0 0.083 that is equal to 310 Kelvin or 37 degree centigrade. So here the answer is option number 1.